This is the Stones End Day Centre in South London. Reliant on charitable funding, a team of only eight full and part-time staff and five volunteers care for around 27 elderly members each day. We noticed that during the time between 2.30 to 3 o'clock, their anxiety level gets very high. And because we don't have enough staffing to support all the members that we have, who have this sort of anxiety level, we will implement Paro. And it turned out it was a beautiful thing for us to have. Penny Dodds led research that explored bringing Paro into everyday clinical practice in dementia care in the UK. So we see Paro has a soothing effect and a calming effect with people with dementia. We see that Paro enhances people's ability to communicate um, and we've seen some people whose language is, is quite severely changed by dementia who've been able to talk to Paro where they found it difficult to talk to people. With Paro staff have a way of engaging with, with the person with dementia. At $6,000 Paro is not cheap but the designer claims that as well as providing psychological benefits to dementia sufferers it can reduce need for medication and help take pressure off stretched care workers. It's really cost effective. It's, I would say Paro is a member of our staff, you know, so, <laughs> you know, so it is really good to have it. My experience is that having an additional support, whether it's a robotic or any equipment whatsoever that support the delivery of quality service is always going to be a positive impact. Anything to alleviate anyone's stress or anxiety, I welcome it because I've seen the effect of it, I know the benefit of it. Penny believes there could be further benefits to using robotic and artificially intelligent devices like Paro in multiple settings. Paro as one of many types of artificial intelligence or robotic device I think has a place in the non-pharmacological interventions which are important in health and social care for people with dementia and older people. So I think as long as we're considering how humans and robotic devices work well together then we're keeping the focus on enhancing human care rather than replacing it.